Hi, I'm Jen with Making the Photo. Both Midjourney and Stable Diffusion are rising to the top of the AI image generators, but which is the best? Today we'll put these two powerhouses head to head to see who comes out on top. I often compare Stable Diffusion and Midjourney images in my video, but both have just dropped new versions. At the time of this video, Midjourney was testing version 4, and Stable Diffusion had just released version 2. I've done a deep dive into Midjourney version 4, but this is my first look at Stable Diffusion version 2. Let's start with some practical differences. Stable Diffusion is everywhere these days. It's open source, you can download the code and run it from your computer. But you don't have to be a coder to use Stable Diffusion. Today I'm using Playground AI to make Stable Diffusion images. You access Midjourney through Discord. Once you understand how to get started on Midjourney, it's easy. But you're not going to stumble across Midjourney by accident. I'll put a link to a video on how to get started in the description below. All the AI image generators seem to have a free trial, but let's look at the long-term costs. The cost of Stable Diffusion depends on where you access the AI. Dream Studio is a subscription site run by the creators of Stable Diffusion. It's about 10 US dollars for 5,000 images, but there are plenty of ways to access Stable Diffusion for free. Midjourney gives you a very limited free trial. Currently, there are two monthly subscription tiers. 10 US dollars will get you about 200 image generations. For 30 US dollars, you essentially get unlimited image generations. In general, Stable Diffusion produces images faster than Midjourney, but this depends on how you access Stable Diffusion. In Playground, you'll have your images usually in under 10 seconds. Midjourney is a bit slower, even using the fastest mode. Stable Diffusion wins head-to-head -head on these basics. Stable Diffusion is more accessible and faster than Midjourney, and if you play your cards right, it's free. But enough with practicalities, let's get to the art. Both Midjourney and Stable Diffusion generate images based on a text prompt. You can also use images as part of your prompt. Both return four images. For the speed tests, I gave both a very basic text prompt, a pink unicorn. Stable Diffusion was faster, but were the images any good? Stable Diffusion's images were more like a child's drawing of a unicorn, and some images were badly cut off. On the other hand, Midjourney returned a very artistic portrait of a pink unicorn, something that would make any little girl happy. Of course we want our AI to be faithful to our text prompt, but we can't tell it everything. How does the AI fill in the details? Midjourney goes above and beyond what you ask for and fills in a lot of the artistic details. Stable Diffusion is much more literal when interpreting your prompt. For the simple prompt, Dragon, it threw out different styles of dragon, but without more prompting, the images aren't very detailed. Midjourney has become known for its artistry. The team at Midjourney prizes beauty over all. Even if you don't get what you ask for, you'll get a beautiful image. You can get an image more like Midjourney in Stable Diffusion, but you have to know how to prompt for it. Beginners will have much more success early on with Midjourney. It's hard to compare the two AI image generators on realism. In many ways, Stable Diffusion is more real, but that doesn't necessarily equate to good images. Stable Diffusion is more faithful to your prompt. Midjourney includes an artistic safety net. Both Midjourney and Stable Diffusion can create very unrealistic images, especially when it comes to people. Sometimes the results are a bit Picasso. They may have distorted faces, warped alien hands, two heads, that sort of thing. Neither AI is perfect, but both are improving. Don't get me wrong, both AI image generators can make beautiful faces, just not all the time. There is some concern in the Stable Diffusion community that version 2 has taken a step backwards. Version 1.5 seems to make more beautiful images. It took me more than a few rerolls to get a beautiful Dutch goddess in Stable Diffusion version 2. This may have to do with the removal of some of the artists from the database. More about this in a minute. And how imaginative is the AI? Can it generate art beyond what you visually describe? When I asked Stable Diffusion for the best AI image, the AI got super geeky and produced this image. But Midjourney gave me something very artistic and an image that seems symbolic of a journey, a mid-journey. Mid-journey has more than caught up with Stable Diffusion in terms of artistry. Realism is a wash. Both can make highly realistic images and both can miss the mark. I mentioned artistic styles a minute ago. 
A shorthand way of telling the AI what you want your image to look like is to use the name of an artist. Some artists complain that their styles are being used this way. To appease these artists, Stable Diffusion seems to have removed artistic styles from version 2. Even classic artists like Monet, who features in every style transfer tool around, is missing from Stable Diffusion version 2. Version 1.5 picks up on the Monet no problem, but version 2 does not. Midjourney seems to know more artistic styles, or at least let you use the styles of the artists. There is a difference between Midjourney version 3 and 4. Version 3 is more impressionistic. Version 4 is still impressionistic, though less classically Monet. Some creators want the freedom to create nudity and gore. Others want a safe visual space. Midjourney has always had strong filters and banned words, limiting creation. Midjourney is more controlled. This AI is safer for work and children. One reason creators gravitated towards Stable Diffusion is the freedom to make art as they want. This includes not safe for work images. There have been complaints that Stable Diffusion 2 has capped this ability, making it harder to create busty women and gore. But I didn't find this to be the case. When re-rolling my goddess prompt, version 2 gave me sex, even without asking. I've obscured the explicit content, but you can see that Stable Diffusion really likes boobs. The face, it's optional. Stability AI is also taking heat because version 2 seems to have limited the ability to use celebrity faces in images. Likely they have one eye on deep fakes. AI has the ability to fool people with realistic images. You can still prompt for some celebrities, but the results seem less real than the same celebrity in Stable Diffusion version 1.5. Stable Diffusion may give you the essence of the person so that they are recognizable, but you're not going to get realism. Midjourney has limited celebrity likenesses somewhat, but the results are more realistic. Midjourney seems to know more artistic styles, or at least let you use them, and currently makes more realistic likenesses of celebrities. When it comes to filters, it's a draw. You have to decide what is best for your type of imagery. Each AI has additional tools or features, but the tools are different. Stable Diffusion has in-painting and out-painting tools, though these are not always available everywhere Stable Diffusion is found. Midjourney doesn't have these tools, but you can remix an image to change it in a specific way. In Midjourney, you can add specific instructions like style, image weights, tiles, and various upscaling options to change the look of your image. But you do need to know the secret sauce to get these controls to work. Both Midjourney version 4 and Stable Diffusion version 2 have limited aspect ratios and image sizes compared to earlier versions. By default, Stable Diffusion images are 512 pixels square. One reason I like Playground is that it includes an upscaler, making images 2048 pixels square. Midjourney version 4 upscales to 2432 pixels, which is as large as I've seen with an AI image generator. Plus, you can make images in both 1x1 and 3x2 aspect ratios. It's hard to directly compare quality. The amount of detail in your image has a lot to do with your prompt and preferences. In Midjourney, you can ask for more detail using the quality parameter dash dash Q2, but you can increase the steps in Stable Diffusion to get more quality and detail, though processing time is often longer. With Stable Diffusion, you have more control over quality details. Both AI have additional tools. Stable Diffusion has in-painting and out-painting, which is huge. Midjourney slightly edges out Stable Diffusion in terms of image size and available aspect ratios, but this is something likely to expand for both AI generators in the future. Finally, I want to talk about copyright. How can you use the images you create, and are they yours? I'm not a lawyer, but I can show you what information is published about copyright. If you pay for Midjourney, you own all the images that you create. But Midjourney has an open community. Others can riff on your images. But if you haven't paid for Midjourney, you're using it as a trial. Midjourney gives you a non-commercial use license. This does limit how you can use your images. With Stable Diffusion, copyright gets more complicated. Copyright depends on where you access Stable Diffusion. Sites like Dream Studio or Playground have their own copyright language. Playground states that you own all assets. The copyright notice in Dream Studio is more complicated, but this section does give me pause. It appears that images are in the public domain. You can use them, but so can anyone else. Midjourney's copyright is much more straightforward, at least for now, but it's likely copyright of AI images will be a point of discussion in the future. When comparing Midjourney and Stable Diffusion, Midjourney wins on points. 
but the ultimate decision will be how the AI handles what you want to create. There are some things that Stable Diffusion does better. There are some things that Midjourney does better. You'll have to run a few prompts through each to see what you get. Personally, I'm split between Midjourney and Stable Diffusion. I use Midjourney more often because it's easier to get an image that I love. I have to work a lot harder in Stable Diffusion to get a good image, but when I do, it's breathtaking. But I like Stable Diffusion version 1.5 best. There's something cold and missing from 2.0 but I'll keep checking back in and trying different prompts. I love a lot about Midjourney version four, but version three has a vibe that's missing from version four. I'm happy to create in version four and try to add back some of the styling that I'm missing from version three. Let us know which AI image generator gives you the best results in the comments below. If this video was helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Janet making the photo. Let's make something amazing together.